Unless you play original music, there's been at least one time that you'd like to isolate the guitar track on a recording, you know, that maybe you're learning for your band, because that track blends in so well with the others, you can't quite make out what the guitar player is playing. On the other end of the spectrum, there's those times that you would like to play that guitar part with the track, but you'd like to mute the guitar track. What are you supposed to do in those situations? Well, let's take a look at our options. I've held off talking about AI, but I guess the video that I made about the neural amp modeler changed that. But what does this have to do with AI? Well, software, of course. Like the newest demixing software that can take a recording and break it down into different categories, like drums, bass, keyboards, guitar, vocals, etc. We're talking about programs like Demix Pro, Stem Roller, and Spleeter. You tell these programs what audio file to use as input, and then they produce up to six tracks of stems. In other words, you won't get one file for bass drum, another for snare drum, etc. Instead, you'll get a stereo file labeled drums, assuming that the input file is also stereo. Much like the Neural Amp Modeler, these apps do have their limitations. We'd love it if you could get software as powerful as what Peter Jackson used for the Beatles on the Get Back movie. Unfortunately, if you need that level of precision, you'll have to contact Abbey Road Recording Studios, as they appear to be the only outlet that will process recordings to that precise level of separation. So you can't just feed these apps a recording you made on a handheld cassette deck back in the day and expect it to break everything out perfectly. Not gonna happen yet, guys. But what about if, like I said earlier, you're trying to figure out a part for a cover tune your band is learning? Well, let's see how close they get. I'm going to take a license-free multi-tracked song and run it through each of the apps that I mentioned earlier. Demix Pro, Stem Roller, and Spleeter. Let's start with Demix Pro. According to the website, Demix Pro is standalone software that combines cutting-edge AI sound isolation algorithms to give audio and mastering engineers, remixers, producers, DJs, and musicians unrivaled freedom to create isolated vocals, drums, bass, and other instruments from existing mixes. You can buy it outright, lease it on a yearly basis, or lease it on a monthly basis. There is a seven day fully functioning trial version of the software that you can try before making your purchase decision. You also need to have an iLock account, but you can set up a free account that doesn't require a physical dongle. When you fire it up, you are given this panel that tells you to drag and drop audio file. Right now, it will accept WAV, AIFF, and MP3 files. Drop a file and you get options at the top of the screen for vocals, drums, instruments, and four stems. If we click on instruments, we get another panel with five separation options. Bass, electric guitar, piano, strings, and fourth stem. We'll click on the electric guitar option and then click on next. This will create two tracks, guitar and everything else. We're given the option to do the separation locally or in the cloud. Now I'm using a three minute and 30 second input file. They say that doing it in the cloud will give you the latest algorithm, but boy, you'd better have some fast internet because you'll have to upload your input file to the cloud and then download all of the separated files. So we're gonna go local. Let me hit accept. Okay, obviously I sped that up. It took a little over a minute to get the separated files. Let's hear a little bit of the demo song then we'll hear what the electric guitars track sounds like. Okay, now let's hear what just the electric guitars sound like. Demix Pro did an excellent job of separating the guitars from the drums and the bass on the demo song. 
Let's see if Stem Roller can keep up. The Stem Roller site has minimal information. The only thing it says is roll your own instrumental slash acapella slash stems from any song. And then over on the side, it has a box that says search any song artist. And then just click split and wait. And the real app splitting usually takes about 15 minutes. And then there is a download link, one for Mac, one for Windows, and a donate link. That's it. When you fire up Stem Roller, you are directed to type any song title in the search bar above or select a local file stored on your device. Now this will take close to 10 minutes before you get the prompt that to tell you that it's ready to open. Click on open and you get a window with five WAV files, bass, drums, instrumental, other, and vocals. Okay, our guitar track is the other track. Let's try it out. I'd say that that sounds really close to the DMix Pro version. There's maybe the tiniest bit of warble, but nothing that would stop you from learning this part. Not bad. All right, let's see how Spleeder does. The MVSEP.com site uses Spleeder for its demixing engine. I haven't been able to find a downloadable standalone version of Spleeder, but this online version works fine. The only limitation is that your input file must be 100 megabytes or less. The demo song we're using is just over 80 megabytes, so we're good. And you can see there, you add the audio file. You can have MP3, FLAC, WAV, M4A, and others. So let's add our file. So it took less than two minutes to upload. Then you choose the type of demixing you want. I'm using Demux 3 Model B. Then you click on separate. Then you get a message that says separation in progress. It will be completed within one minute. Please wait. But then you notice right down here, jobs in queue, 255. Position in queue, 247. And then you notice it keeps going down. Spleeder is also donationware, and you're given the option to donate while waiting for your job to finish. Now you'll be waiting anywhere from five minutes to an hour or more, depending on how many jobs there are in the queue before yours. Well guys, it took over two hours before I got the prompt that it was ready, but here are the files. You have your original file, and then you have drums, bass, other, vocals, and instrumental. The guitar, once again, is called Other. Let's see how it sounds. Now I'll say that it sounds just as good as the DMix Pro version. There's no warble, and you can easily tell when the second guitar part comes in. I'd have no trouble using this track for learning purposes. That should give you a pretty good idea of how demixing works and sounds. You know, a lot of it depends on your input file. The better quality in, the better quality out. And of course, the less dense production, the better chances of being able to isolate that track. Now, if time is of the essence, go with DMix Pro. It is not cheap, but it is the best and it is the fastest. If you have a fast CPU and don't mind stepping away from the computer while your file is being processed, Stem Roller is a good option for you. Otherwise, use the MVSEP site as long as your input file is under 100 meg. Then you can still use your computer while you're waiting for your job to work its way through the queue. Now I'll leave links in the description for these apps. 
give them a try and let me know which one works for you or hey if you've even found something that works better i'd love to hear about that and next wednesday we'll be looking at another new preset of the week you don't want to miss that so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell all right guys have a great weekend and i'll be talking with you next week